Blake Lively, known for her roles in Gossip Girl and The Shallows, has recently faced scrutiny for several controversial interviews. Over the past few months, Lively has found herself at the center of a media storm, with every word she utters being analyzed and critiqued. These incidents have sparked debate among fans and the media, raising questions about public image in the age of social media. The digital age has amplified the reach and impact of celebrity statements, making it easier for fans to voice their opinions and for controversies to spread like wildfire. From awkward comments to promotional tactics, Lively's interviews have become as talked about as her acting career. In one instance, her attempt at humour during a promotional event was met with backlash, as many felt her comments were out of touch and insensitive. Lively, who often uses humour and self-deprecation in interviews, has been criticised for remarks deemed insensitive and off-putting. Her style, which once endeared her to fans, now seems to be a double-edged sword, with every joke and offhand comment being scrutinised. These controversies have led to a shift in public perception, with some questioning her intentions and authenticity. The once universally adored actress now finds herself navigating a more divided fan base, with some staunchly defending her and others expressing disappointment. As fans dissect her every word, Lively's experiences highlight the complexities of fame in the digital age. The constant scrutiny and the pressure to maintain a perfect public image can be overwhelming, and even the smallest misstep can lead to significant backlash. This situation serves as a reminder of the challenges celebrities face in balancing their public personas with their true selves. Despite the controversies, Lively continues to have a strong support system of fans who appreciate her candidness and humour. They argue that her willingness to be herself, flaws and all, is what makes her relatable and endearing. However, the ongoing debates about her comments and actions suggest that the line between authenticity and insensitivity is a fine one, and navigating it requires a delicate balance. Moving forward, it will be interesting to see how Lively addresses these controversies and whether she will adjust her approach in future interviews. Will she continue to use humour as a coping mechanism or will she adopt a more cautious and measured tone? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain, the public will be watching closely. Blake Lively's journey in the spotlight is a testament to the ever-evolving nature of fame and the challenges that come with it. As she navigates this turbulent period, her resilience and ability to adapt will be key to maintaining her place in the hearts of her fans and the public at large. In the end, the controversies surrounding Blake Lively serve as a reminder that even the most beloved celebrities are not immune to criticism and that the path to stardom is fraught with both triumphs and trials. In 2017, while promoting her film All I See Is You, Lively faced backlash for comments made during an interview. The film, directed by Mark Forster, was a psychological drama that delved into the complexities of sight and perception. Lively played the role of Gina, a blind woman who regains her sight after a corneal transplant. The movie aimed to explore how this transformation affected her relationships and her sense of self. The film, centered around a blind woman who regains her sight, sparked controversy when Lively, who is not visually impaired, attempted to relate to the character's experiences. During the interview, Lively spoke about the challenges her character faced and how she tried to understand the emotional and psychological aspects of blindness. She mentioned spending time with visually impaired individuals and researching extensively to portray the role authentically. Her comments, intended to express empathy, were perceived by some as trivialising the experiences of visually impaired individuals. Lively's attempt to draw parallels between her own life and the struggles of those who are blind was seen as insensitive. Critics argued that her statements lacked the depth and understanding necessary to truly represent the visually impaired community. The interview quickly went viral, with many taking to social media to express their disappointment and anger. Hashtags criticising Lively's comments began trending, and the backlash was swift and intense. People shared their own experiences and frustrations, highlighting the importance of genuine representation in media. The incident sparked a broader conversation about the responsibilities of actors and filmmakers when portraying marginalised communities. This incident marked a turning point in Lively's public image as she faced accusations of being tone-deaf and out of touch. The controversy forced Lively to reflect on her approach to the role and the impact of her words. She later issued a public apology, 
acknowledging the hurt her comments had caused and expressing a commitment to learning and growing from the experience. Despite the backlash, Lively continued to advocate for more inclusive and thoughtful representation in Hollywood, using her platform to support various causes and initiatives. More recently, Lively's promotional tour for the film adaptation of Colleen Hoover's It Ends With Us reignited controversy. The book, which tackles sensitive themes of domestic violence, became a subject of debate when Lively, cast in the lead role, discussed her approach to portraying the character. Critics argued that Lively's glamorous image clashed with the gravity of the story, while others defended her casting and artistic choices. The press tour, intended to generate excitement for the film, instead sparked further division among fans and reignited discussions about representation and sensitivity in storytelling. Section 4. Navigating Public Backlash The backlash from these interviews placed Lively in a difficult position. On one hand, she faced pressure to address the concerns raised and apologize for any offense caused. On the other hand, there was a risk of further alienating fans by appearing insincere or defensive. Lively's response to the controversies was a mix of silence and carefully worded statements. While she avoided directly addressing specific criticisms, she emphasized her commitment to learning from her mistakes and using her platform for good. This approach, while strategic, did little to quell the debate surrounding her public persona. Section 5 Divided Fans Support and Criticism The controversies surrounding Lively's interviews have resulted in a divided fan base. While some fans remain fiercely loyal, defending her right to express herself and praising her acting abilities, others have expressed disappointment and disillusionment. Social media has become a battleground for these conflicting opinions, with hashtags like hash Blake Lively is over party trending alongside messages of support. This division highlights the complexities of celebrity worship and the challenges of maintaining a positive public image in the age of instant feedback. Section 6 off-topic promotions a growing trend. Adding another layer to the controversy is Lively's tendency to use interviews as platforms for promoting her various business ventures. This practice has become increasingly noticeable over the years as she seamlessly integrates mentions of her products into almost every public appearance. From her non-alcoholic beverage line to her hair care brand, Lively has a knack for turning casual conversations into marketing opportunities. Her beverage line, for instance, has been featured prominently in several interviews, often catching viewers by surprise. Lively frequently finds ways to weave product placements into conversations, making it seem almost natural. Whether she's discussing her latest film or a personal anecdote, there's often a subtle shift towards her business ventures, even when seemingly unrelated to the topic at hand. This has led to moments where the audience is left wondering about the relevance of the product to the discussion. While this tactic is not uncommon among celebrities, Lively's approach stands out due to its frequency and the seamlessness with which she incorporates these promotions. It's a fine line between savvy marketing and over-promotion. Lively's approach has been met with mixed reactions. On one hand, some fans appreciate her entrepreneurial spirit and see her as a role model for leveraging her platform to build a business empire. Some view it as savvy marketing, applauding her ability to multitask and promote her brands without missing a beat. They argue that in today's world, where personal branding is crucial, Lively is simply ahead of the curve, while others criticize it as being inauthentic and distracting from the matter at hand. Critics argue that her constant product mentions can feel forced and detract from the authenticity of her interactions. This trend has further fueled the debate about her intentions. Is she genuinely passionate about her products or is she prioritizing personal gain over meaningful engagement with her audience? The discussion often becomes heated, with fans and critics alike voicing strong opinions, and whether she prioritizes personal gain over genuine engagement. As the debate continues, it raises broader questions about the role of celebrities in marketing and the fine line between personal branding and over-commercialization. Lively's case serves